हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक कॉनिक सेक्शंस सो डू यू फील दिस टॉपिक इज बिट डिफिकल्ट और आर यू इन अ सिचुएशन वेर यू आर थिंकिंग टू स्किप दिस टॉपिक और आपको ऐसा लग रहा है कि ये टॉपिक हम लोग ऑप्शन में छोड़ देंगे सो बिफोर टेकिंग एनी फाइनल डिसीजन आई रिक्वेस्ट यू प्लीज लुक एट दीज वीडियोज ठीक है आई डेफिनेटली टेल यू दिस टॉपिक इज मच मोर सिंपलर देन यू थिंक बिकॉज भाई पढ़ाने का तरीका ही अलग है अपना यस डेफिनेटली दीज वीडियोज आर वेरी वेरी इंट्रैक्टिव यू विल लव टू लुक दीज वीडियोज एंड यूर कंसेप्ट विल बी डेफिनेटली क्लियर एट द एंड ऑफ दिस वीडियो एंड यू विल नॉट स्कीप दिस टॉपिक इट्स माई पर्सनल गारंटी so in these total videos we have near about 7 to 8 videos under this conic section and in each and every video i will be giving you the shortcut tricks and trips with which you can solve any type of question in just 30 seconds yes it's my personal guarantee so why we are waiting for let's get started friends when i was a student i learned this topic conic section with the help of two dimensional figures and very confusing statements and definitions definitely learning this topic conic section with the help of statements and two dimensional figures is very difficult so i think giving you the three dimensional flavor to this topic conic section is very very effective so i have taken this video from the creative learnings from the youtube so i hope this video will definitely clear and will give you the conceptual view to the conic sections so look at we'll look at this video first and let's move to the next section okay i will be starting this video conic sections in this module you will learn about conic sections When a straight line intersects a vertical line at a fixed point and rotates about that fixed point the surface obtained is called a double right circular cone A double right circular cone consists of two cones joined at a fixed point called the vertex The line that rotates about the vertex is called the generator and the line that remains fixed is called the axis a right circular cone has a circular base and its axis is always perpendicular line from the center of the base to the vertex the perimeter of the base is called the directrix the lateral surface of a right circular cone is called a nap A double right circular cone has two naps. The nap above the vertex is called the upper nap, and that below the vertex is called the lower nap. Also, the angle between the generator and the axis is called the vertex angle. Conic sections. If a plane intersects a double right circular cone, we get two dimensional curves of different types. These curves are called conic sections. Depending on the angle made by the plane with the vertical axis of the cone, the plane can cut the cone in three different ways. ellipse When the plane intersects the double right circular cone in such a way that the angle between the plane and the axis is greater than the vertex angle we get a closed curve called an ellipse When the plane is perpendicular to the axis the ellipse becomes a circle Thus 
A circle is a special type of ellipse. Parabola When the angle made by the plane to the vertical axis is exactly equal to the vertex angle, we get an open curve called a parabola at the intersecting surface of the cone. Hyperbola The plane intersects only one nap of the double right circular cone as long as the angle between the plane and the vertical axis is greater than or equal to the vertex angle. However, if the plane intersects the vertical axis at an angle smaller than the vertex angle, the plane intersects both the naps of the cone to form an open curve called a hyperbola which has two disjoint curves. Degenerate conics If the plane intersects the double right circular cone at its vertex, the ellipse becomes a point, the parabola becomes a line and the hyperbola becomes two intersecting lines. The figures so obtained are called degenerate conics. In this module... So, I think this video has cleared your doubts and it gives you a bit of flavor to the 3D animation of the conic section. So thanks to the creative learnings. So if you are interested to look this video in full, please go and watch this video at the creative learnings. Okay? Okay friends. So from the video, now our basic concept is clear. Now what is the ellipse, parabola, hyperbola and what is the circle is. Now the next question comes is how to identify these cones conic sections. So examiner by exam to examiner aapko video or figures to nahi dega wo. Ki bhai ye video hai aur batao mujhe ki isme parabola kaun sa hai aur uh, ellipse kaun sa hai. No. What he will give you? He will give you some sort of equation. And just looking at this equation we have to tell which one of these section it is. So there are mainly five sections we have in a cone. One is first one is a straight line, second is a circle, third is parabola, the next is ellipse and at the end the hyperbola is. So our task is just looking at this equation we have to comment whether the given equation is of straight line, circle, parabola, ellipse or hyperbola. By video se batana to easy hai. So, equation se kaisa bata sakte? So, whether is there any trick or any uh, magic we have or the equation we have with which we can comment on the given equation. So, definitely we have that. So, thanks to the second degree general equation, with the help of this second degree general equation, we can directly tell the given equation is of circle, ellipse, parabola or hyperbola. Okay, so first let's see what is our second degree general equation is. This we have already covered in one of my previous video. Okay, so what is second degree general equation is? It is ax square plus 2hxy plus by square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c equals to 0. So this is my general second degree equation is okay now how you will say the given equation is of cone or ellipse uh, ellipse or parabola or circle so let's have one small definition here let delta is equals to abc plus 2fgh minus af square minus bg square minus ch square equals to 0. So don't try to mug up this equation. Okay, equal to 0 hum log abhi nahi lekte hai. So let's see this delta is equals to abc plus 2fj minus f square minus bg square minus ch square. So this is my delta is. Don't mug up this because if you 
map this equation in a determinant form this is very simple determinant we have is okay so determinant is equals to so a b and c so here we have h g and uh, f we have here okay so f h g and f so if you get this determinant you will get this equation okay now depending on the value of this delta we have all the types of cones so whether it is circle ellipse parabola or hyperbola so depending on the value of this delta and some values of this a b c we can directly comment on the equation whether it is of the circle parabola ellipse or hyperbola so let's look at that trick is so at the end of this trick definitely you will be jumping like this it's a notch right okay chalo. so let's see first case is where your delta so what is delta is delta is nothing but the determinant of a b c h g and f so this is the delta value we have so if suppose this delta is equals to zero we have okay then directly the given equation is of the straight line straight line no need to check any other condition okay so examiner may ask you when the second degree equation represents the circle so we can directly tell so whenever the delta is equals to zero then my second degree equation represents the circle okay very good so what if if our delta is not equals to zero okay then we have to check for next condition whether in the second degree equation we have a and b are same and h is equals to zero if this is a condition then we directly say the second degree equation represents the circle okay circle so if a and b are same and h is equals to zero then the second degree general equation represents the circle if we have delta is not equals to zero and h square is equals to a b if this is the case then the second degree equation represents the parabola very very easy parabola okay very good. next if suppose h square is less than a b that is a into b then in this case our second degree equation represents the ellipse ellipse okay very good and at the end if h square is definitely greater than the a into b then we have the hyperbola okay it's very very simple trick we can have here if the given second degree equation then with the help of these five conditions will directly comment on the second degree equation okay so it is greater than so it is hyperbola okay hyper matlab jyada rehta hai na so you can remember in that way hyper greater okay aur ye dekho ye iska sign kaisa hai e jaisa hai na ye sign kaisa hai e jaisa hai okay that's why whenever it is less than we have ellipse e ellipse okay you can remember like this okay so let's see the example now suppose this is the equation the examiner has given and he is asking us whether this equation represents the circle or parabola or ellipse or hyperbola okay so let's see so definitely this equation is not representing the straight line why because we have the highest power as a 2 and in the straight line we have highest power 1 ax plus by plus equals to 0 if you remember okay so x square minus 2xy plus y square plus 3x plus 2 equals to 0 sir if you compare this equation with our second degree equation what we it is that ax square plus 2hxy plus by square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c equals to 0 and if you noticed correctly we require only a b and h okay so let's find out the values of a a kitna hai bhai 1 hai okay a 1 hai okay b kitna hai b b 1 hai okay h kitna hai h kitna hai it is a minus 1 h is what it is a 2h kitna hai it is a minus 2 then h kitna ho gaya it is a minus 1 okay so let's check what are the conditions are h square nikalo and a into b nikalo 
सो वट इज एच स्क्वायर इज माइनस वन का स्क्वायर इज वन वट इज ए इन टू बी इट इज वन ओनली सो वॉट कंडीशन यू हैव हियर इज एच स्क्वायर इज इक्वल्स टू ए बी दिस कंडीशन इज सैटिस्फाइंग फॉर दिस गी वन सेकेंड डिग्री इक्वेशन देन वॉट यू विल कंक्लूड बाय ये सेकेंड डिग्री इक्वेशन इज रिप्रेजेंटिंग दैराबोला Yes, very good. Okay, let's see the next question. So, if this is the given second degree equation, so this is my a, this is my b, and this is my two h, two h x y, na? This is my two h, and you require only a, b, and h. So, h kitna gaya? If two h is twenty four, then h kitna ho gaya? H ho gaya, mera twelve. Okay, let's find out the value of h square. H square ho gaya one forty four. What is the value of a into b? So sixteen into nine is again one forty four. So what condition you have again? H square is equals to a b. Then what you will conclude again the same that the equation is of parabola. Okay, very good. Let's see the next one. So this is a a is equals to what it is a seven. B is equals to again seven. And what is two h is equals to two h is equals to two. Okay, then h is equals to what it is one. So find out h square. H square आ गया one. And what is a into b? A into b आ गया forty nine. So what is condition you are having here is h square is what less than a b. If it is less than means what it is e. It is a ellipse. Okay, very good. Means what? So the given second degree equation is representing the ellipse. Isn't it so simple? Very very easy. Let's see the next one. Okay, so again we have a is equals to seven, b is equals to minus two. Please make a note of this. Okay, a is equals to seven, b is equals to minus two, and two h is equals to twelve. See here, it is two h. So h कितना गया? H आ गया मेरा six. So h square कितना हो गया? It is thirty six. What is a into b? A into b आ गया मेरा minus fourteen. A into b आ गया minus fourteen. So definitely what condition you have is H square is thirty six, which is greater than a into b. So if it is greater, what you will conclude? It is of hyperbola. Okay. Please, you expect at least one question based on this concept. Okay. Very good. That's it for this video. So if you like this trick, if you like this video, hit the like button. Share with your friends, family, seniors, and juniors. and definitely comment karke batao how you will find this video okay and you will be subscribing to this channel so that you won't miss any upcoming interactive videos okay thank you